Hi all, this is Jan Almighty and welcome to this video. So it's been a while since I've recorded a video on this channel, so please forgive me if I will be a little bit out of touch, but as I remember where we left it off was um, playing against uh, altered stock on chess.com. So here we are once again. Last time I played le against level 6, so this time I'm going to play against level 7, which means settings, play 7, I think it was like this, no? Okay, I don't know. But it seems that my opponent already played Knight of 3. And yeah, let's just jump into the video and into the game. I'm going to try to analyze, uh, not analyze, but talk through for most of it. Uh, okay, this is called Anglo-Indian English opening. I'm going to play it calmly at first. I maybe transpose into some kind of a Catalan, it seems. And let's play C5. Play a little bit sharper, knight to c6, a lot of pressure here in the center, pawn captures, pawn captures, okay, d4 or knight to c3, h3, okay, definitely not a move that I've seen before, um, but I'm going to play normally, bishop to e7, h3 is the move that is played, but e3 with h3 and g3, that is quite questionable, so... You could say that this is some kind of a preparation preparation for d4 and the question is how do i want to handle this do i maybe want to play even c4 here is c4 a move that is good that is that is hard to say playing something like this capturing on d4 does open up the dark square bishop and Simply ignoring the threat allows the capture on c5, which in, in, in the end would leave me with an isolated pawn. And I know myself, I don't like to play against an isolated pawn. Hmm. And if I play c4 too early, b3 and a4 are coming. So it seems like capture is the, is the least thing that I'm worried about. And it seems that computer level 7 gives up the first material here, playing king h2 and allowing me to capture the pawn. Of course, I'm going to capture it and here I will play h6 so that I am allowed to play bishop to e6 without worrying about knight to g5. So first this and this, If even after b4 I can play a6 and here d4 for now isn't allowed because he can simply capture. So let me prepare it with queen to d7 and playing the rook on d8. Okay, the knight is re-maneuvering, that is also fine. Okay, knight to f4 seems like a move here, uh, simply attacking the bishop. Okay, now that all of my pieces have been developed, uh, maybe I can even start with the push on the queen side. So started playing a little bit faster. Uh, knight comes here, that is fine, let me capture the knight. When up in material, don't be afraid in exchanging pieces. Queen captures on d4, so going maybe knight to d4 would threaten to capture the bishop on e6 would be better but here we have a different kind of approach so if i play this and rook to c8 i will go further into the exchanges i uh, will capture with the queen on c8 oh rook comes on c3 rook comes on c3 and my idea was that after those captures maybe i have bishop to c5 but now after this, it doesn't seem likely. So let me allow myself to play even b5 with the threat of playing rook to c4 because I would really like to improve my position. Definitely have to be worried about these pawns now. Okay, double attack on d5, attack on the bishop here. All of that is good and question is how to approach this as queen to c4 not so much queen to a7 attacking the bishop and the pawn here queen to c6 seems a little bit better but still not i wouldn't say that much better uh for now he is also this is what i'm considering at the moment because he is threatening to capture on d5 in the end the queen will capture and it will be a very nice positional stuff for him Otherwise, how I would improve my position? Well, moving the queen out of the way and definitely moving the bishop somewhere because this bishop is currently the only piece that isn't quite used how it should be, I would say. 
So, uh, let me play queen to c6. I am on I am on a dia diagonal where this bishop is, but there aren't that many issues with that. I would say. Um, I plan to capture with the pawn if he captures the bishop here, so no worries there. Bishop to c5 is met probably with queen to c2, which means I would be probably losing a piece. Uh, but he is probably also looking at what happens after bishop to d4. So let me play bishop to d6 to maybe avoid this bishop to d4 immediately. Okay, and there comes the queen again. And capturing and yeah, let's simply capture. So I'll capture and get rid of the piece and play knight to d7. Now that uh, the knight is no longer attacking the pawn on d5, I can re-maneuver the knight. At least that's that's the plan, but as you can see, my opponent doesn't allow it. And he has a very solid position with the bishop and queen eyeing here. Doesn't allow me to push anything further. So it is prime time to start pushing with the pawns. Um, what happens after queen to c? All of my pieces are defended. Uh, queen to a7. I would really like to play a5, but I wonder after queen to a7, can I really push even further? Or bishop to d2 even. Queen to c4, queen to a7. Yeah, let's play queen to c4. Queen to a7 is also good. If I move my queen, okay. Now, this is something... Yeah, I will exchange queens. Of course, I will go into the end game with a pawn up. And now bring the king closer. Let's play. Should I play g Let's play f6, since I have the light square bishop, but he has both, both bishops. So bring the king closer, put it in the middle of the board. Uh, defend the pawn so that uh, my bishop can become a little bit stronger. Okay, of course, he plays this. And now what is what is the best plan to go for? Uh, this pawn is defended, so I can play g6 with the idea of playing f5. After bishop to d3, f5 still works. Exchanges here with the bishop. And then, yeah, the question is how to improve. The other idea would be, yeah, but that would lead to having... Yeah, my other idea was uh, king c6, knight b6, knight c4, but he can simply capture that. And then after capturing, I do have a pawn for this endgame, but those are opposite color bishops. So I'm going to go with this idea, playing g6. Hopefully, I'm not blundering anything. So that is the primary goal. Okay. Let's capture here and let's play h5. Hmm. Capture, capture, and now bishop comes here. Okay. Let's uh, go like this. Knight comes here. Hmm. Okay, king h4. That is the that is the main plan. Hmm. And now it's time for some calculation. King h4 with bishop to g6. It isn't enough to play knight to f8. Knight e6 because bishop e5 check. It would be maybe better to move the king to this side. King h4, knight to f6. And then if bishop to g6, how to improve that position? Hmm. But it's definitely safer to play it like this. Bishop to f2. Now this is something I wasn't expecting. Now this allows me, I guess, playing this immediately. Knight e4 comes with a check. And... 
Yeah, I can come with a king closer, but and bishop to c7. So, knight c3, knight b1 doesn't work quite. What about knight e6, knight here? So, remaneuvering the knight to the other side, going for the a3 pawn, still bishop to d4 or e3 to c1. Hmm. Let's play this. Bishop c7. Okay. And then play with the king forward. That's another pawn. Always grab the pawns. Those are opposite colored bishops, but but uh, there is uh, there is a weakness on this side. And now the moment of truth. If I simply play the king here, he will play bishop to f6, trying to avoid me pushing d4. But this allows me to play h4 and push the pawn to h3, because if he captures on h4, then d4, this pawn is unstoppable on when he comes to d2. But I have to be very, very careful, because what happens here is that my bishop isn't uh, the same color square as yeah here, but I'm going to try it without too much calculation bishop to f6 I'm guessing h4 bishop to h4 d4 d3 d2 Okay, and he doesn't give up the bishop Okay I guess that is fine Let me play h3 so move the pawn out of the harm's way and uh, yeah, it seems that I will have to move the bishop away. Let's play it in bishop, bishop to f5, king g1, yes, not allow, but I can play king to e3 now, I guess, because after, oh, okay, the same idea, the same idea applies, but, hmm. Now this is interesting, this endgame. Maybe he can somehow hold a draw, but I'm thinking about it not really wanting to lose any tempos. But let me play this, king to e2, bishop to f6, and remaneuver the bishop from e4 to g2. And this gives me also uh, one advantage, is that now when the king comes to g1, he cannot go to f1. So, okay, uh, here he can play this, of course, I will play here, he will give a check, I will play king to e4, he will play king to f2, no he won't, I'm slowly pushing the pawns, so I'm not sure what is happening now, okay, bishop to g5, of course, but King comes here and he comes to c3 and this is okay, yeah. But uh, this is pretty much unstoppable. This king has to keep an eye on this pawn. And now I can either go for this pawn or play king to c2. It's entirely up to me, I guess. But let me finish out this game a little bit quicker, I guess, if I play king to c2. I can even capture here at this point. It seems that my opponent yeah, went into this idea with giving up pawns. So, oh, okay. There comes the queen. Let's give a little bit of a check. He goes out, move the bishop here. No stalemates. Mm, give a check here, push h2, and yeah, now this is just a matter of checkmating the altered stockfish. Okay, he does allow me to bring another queen into the game. He'll go on the e-file. No, he won't. If I capture here, still no stalemates. Let me play the queen here. Queen g6 and queen to e8. You won. What? 
Oh, sorry. No, I was thinking about checkmating with the rook and the queen. Yeah, queen to g6 is checkmate. Very nice. Okay, that's a win against Stockfish level 7. Just a reminder, uh, Stockfish level 8 was the hardest on Leech has already have, had problems with Stockfish level 7. Here, Stockfish level 7 gives up a pawn in the middle game and uh, just slowly playing towards the end game, you should be fine. So in the next video, we're going to cover Stockfish level 8. And until then, yeah, this is I am Jan Almighty and I hope you enjoyed this video. I will see you in the next one. Enjoy.